Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2. When last we left off, we were taking advantage of a Scottish revolt to declare war to claim the Isle of Man. We'd also unfortunately lost Dublin to Portugal. We shall get that back... Oh, no, Denmark, actually, no. But Denmark is very weak, so we can probably claim that back at some point. In fact, Denmark is pitiful. Denmark is very weak. The only plus side that Denmark has is, I think, one of his allies. No, actually, there's really no plus side to Denmark, so let's keep going. We're waiting for this place to be uh, conquered. We have 5,600 men, and we have a 16% war score, which is a bit annoying because his war score is 58. Fortunately, we can then move up to here, and conquer all these places, and hopefully win. This claim, by the way, will disappear should this civil war end. And it could end, dependent upon what I'm doing. Also, I've had the levies of my enemies raised a lot. That's okay, though, because they're, not, they're my enemies' levies and not my own. So their strength is going to weaken, whereas mine will grow. At least I think that's how that works. This is their men I'm using. So I'm just going to wait. Ooh, actually we own this. So let us go conquer somewhere else. We also have some rightful imprisonment that we can enact. This man seeks to fabricate a claim. You're not going to stop. You will stop, because I'm going to send you money to tell you to stop. Thank you. So at 34% war score, are you going to give up yet? No. It might be time to raise my levies. To help out. Uh, yeah, I think it's time. I think we need to help. You stay there, Devon. And, uh, I'll su oh, wow! I'll summon ships for everyone, shall I? <laughs> Rather not get my own forces destroyed, but if I have to, I will. We're gonna need more men to make sure this works. Also, we have a lot of boats. Yeah, a lot of boats! Okay, let's go. Another 5,000 men. We could probably just go and, uh. No, 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 no. Board the boat, chaps. Board the boat. Thank you. Ah. Scottish army fighting Galloway there and losing really badly. Hopefully this war is going to end pretty soon. We could crush the Scottish rebels too. In fact, I'm very tempted to. Because his war is not going very well. I might do so in a moment. Hmm. Once I've conquered that territory, also, uh, my daughter became a, a uh, full princess of marriage potential. Let us find out who we can marry Elaine to. Anyone interesting, matrilineally. The Duke of Connacht is an option. He, he is my kinsman, however. There is not really anyone of interest at the moment. That could change, though. How is this war going for you? 63% in favour. We're about to really rain on your parade, I'm afraid. Really rain on your parade. Oh! And that happened. Someone died and we lost a bit more territory. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Um... That has now fallen to Portugal. That is a bit harder to deal with, because look at how large Portugal is. Portugal is large. We might not be able to get that territory back. Also, you'll notice that Norfolk is now neutral. And uh, Suffolk isn't, but Norfolk is. Norfolk is now a neutral faction in um, the Kingdom of uh, England. And so is Bedford. 
The art of leading men into battle has always fascinated you. To study this critical science, you have ordered the construction of a miniature army of wood. Oh, this is good. Dear Coriak scoffs at, for play at you for playing with toys, but truly, what do women folk know of war? Forward, men, we shall fight at last! Oh, this one's fantastic. I really enjoy this um, cutscene to learn Marshall. Oh! Yeah. I am thinking of assassins. This man is going to plan something really sneaky. Where is he? He is in... somewhere. He's all the way over here! Right. Let's just... Uh, send my spy master over there, shall we? I have a war, but smallpox has broken out in Connacht. Oh, lovely. Absolutely lovely. Okay, we need to think about this. He has he is planning something. We have a little while to We have a little while to work it out though. Also, we won this here. Oh, is he going to surrender? He's still not going to surrender. Okay, we're going to have to assassinate that man. If we don't, he will start a... Um, he'll start a uh, invasion to try and claim some of my territory. And I don't like that. Hmm. I don't have long to think about it either. 24th of October. Also, went out 57% war score. Are you going to surrender now? No. Right. You have learned of other enthusiasts in Karak who share your interest in miniature armies and pitting them against each other in glorious battle. They will soon be holding a tournament to establish once and for all who the greatest general is. I think I will grace their, um, grace them with your presence. We're basically going to play miniature war games. You make your way to the small hovel where the gaming enthusiasts have gathered. Your bodyguards kick open the shack's ramshackle door and announce your presence to the bewildered peasant teenagers inside. They're already sitting around a table in the midst of a battle with their own painted little armies. Right then, who shall face me? As your armoured guards stand in silent attention along the walls of the hut, you do battle with your wooden army. The dice do not roll your way, but at least you have gained several valuable tactical insights. With these miniature cavalry surrounding the last of your army, one of the trembling teenagers asks in a meek voice, D -d Do you yield, my lord? I yield! Well fought, boy! I fulfill my, my desire to gain martial. Excellent! We really don't have long to think about dealing with you, do we? Oh, however, marriage proposal from uh, Castile. <laughs> no! No. This is Castile we're talking about here. You do not do that. My chances of assassinating this man are 45% chance with a 30% chance of being discovered. And I'm only going to get two shots at it. I'll wait to have a bit more money. Also, my kinsman has just gained um, come of age. Yeah, um, Denmark is not doing well. Denmark is really doing poorly. Also, Normandy is now independent. Really? So Normandy is finally independent of England. So a few people were winners in that independence war. Also, this guy now wants to marry, uh, no. No, if people are going to marry my daughter, it's going to be a matrilineal marriage, and it's not going to be my kinsman. A prince of Scotland, on the other hand, he just born. No, not having them betrothed to a baby. Victory! Are you going to surrender now? No, still being stubborn, are we? Still being stubborn? We should invest in technolo um, technological upgrades. We should! We are waiting on legalism, though. We're waiting on legalism. I should have upgraded legalism. Look at that. Amazing bonus there. Anyway, let's think. Castle infrastructure, always good. And I think our armies have a lot of light infantry and heavy infantry. But right now, we can't upgrade one of those. 
I'm actually going to recommend Cavalry. There we go. 77% war score. Are you now going to surrender? No. How is your war going, by the way? Pretty well. It's about to go pretty much... Oh, we need to stop him. We now need to stop him. If we don't stop him, he will, um... He'll win, pretty much. So where is his army? Uh, no! Absolutely not! I'm not... I'm not having him, uh... Freed from prison? He's scheming against me. Also, here is your 10,000 man strong rebel army. I have crushed you. Surrender. That land is now mine. Thank you. The war is over. We won. Right, now we need to start thinking about assassinating this gentleman over here. Failing that, this is going to get very messy, very fu- Ooh. Due to enemy presence in our homelands. Okay, walk your way over there then. We need to conquer another part of this land, the Isles. Perhaps this bit? Yeah, perhaps. Actually, you're residing in... There. How about we sow a bit of dissent <laughs> between you and your lord? Portugal is big. Portugal has expanded dramatically. Uh, why are you in prison? Actually, we shall release you. We could ransom her out. Ten gold. <laughs> nice. We. Thank you. We need to actually uh, come up with a lord for the Isle of Man. Anybody suitable? You're pretty good. You're also a relation. Uh, you can become the Count. There you are. Excellent. You rule there for me. Also, this man is going to be quite annoyed at me because uh, he wants our, he wants our um, territory. We don't have long to consider if we're going to do something about that. Right. Now is everybody going to be okay? Yeah, it's fine. We also have that Retuim. That uh, we could just uh, sit around with and have it uh, reinforcing over time. Right. Now we need to consider the small matter of this man here. Adventure threats. The following people are targeting this man. This man who is probably about to die. Ha-ha! Yes! Success! And with his death, his threat disintegrates. Perfect. Now, as for Denmark, for now, I'm gonna leave him as he is, because... But now I'm going to leave him as he is, because most of my vassals have negatives on me because of raised levies. Minus five, yeah. Let's, let's wait a bit. I'm a bit old, though. We did manage to press a claim. Ooh. We have strong claims on these. They will, in fact, be inherited by my successor. Which is good. Ooh, another marriage proposal. Probably... Probably for my daughter. That's... Oh, it's already gone. Mm, I like my other vassal better. Uh, my man sometimes is so contrary. How is the uh, faction strength going? That one's pretty big, actually. Is there someone I can placate with money? Yeah, I can placate you with money. Also, my kinsman is now of legal age. How are you doing with children? Hey! You had uh, a daughter, Denise? 
And you're turning out to be pretty good, albeit ambitious. Norfolk, the independent nation. How is it going? Yeah, you're not going to be independent for too long, are you? I'm not succeeding in having you hate him, so those two parts of Portugal may be gone for some time. It kind of sucks. If I hadn't have had to lower my crown authority, this wouldn't happen. However... Oh, Normandy is already having a fight with itself. Excellent. Is that... Okay, for some reason that is now a piece of the uh, Byzantine Empire. Just all the way over there. <laughs> yeah, they're spreading a lot more than they normally do. And that's a bit worrying. Hmm. I've just got to think about what to do with... Uh... Yeah, he... the King of England is in fact an ally of Denmark. So I can't really go for those bits right now. I suppose I've just got to wait. Wait for some rebellion to happen here for me to claim these lands back. For now, however, hmm, this rebellion of yours is still going your way. What is the, uh... Considering the fact that it pretty much took the entire heartland of Scotland, I'm surprised it took so long. I could be very sneaky and attempt to fabricate a claim on Norfolk. <laughs> Conquering Norfolk would not be that hard. It's only got 1,700 men. My Retuin could deal with that. Also, the King of Castile really wants um, his uh, son to have Elaine's hand in marriage. The courtier of the papacy. There's not really anyone... I'm not marrying people off to be, like, close members and dynastic members. Who are you? And why should I... Why do you give an alliance? You don't have any power. Well, that's the important thing. You hold no... Oh! Someone has died. He is dead. In dungeons. However, this person quite likes me. Good! I am happy. Your content trait is the only thing that's saving me from pain there. You are old. Hmm. Your heir is that man. Not a very nice person. Really, my, my scheming is sort of enforced. I am the, ki the uh, king of Ireland, but bits of it have been torn off. When I die, I'm going to have to raise the crown authority again. I have too much power in Wales to be considered uh, a problem. Like, lower crown authority. A famous writer proposes to compose your family chronicles. Ooh. Give him patronage. Why not? Why not, eh? Characters in his twilight of his years, he's 52. Hello! Something happening in England. I just saw that pop up. And the Teutonic Order has just been formed. What is going on here? You guys are fighting in a war. You're defending a de jure claim for <laughs> that tiny bit of land. It's the last piece of England we have! Aquitaine has actually remained a very, very separate kingdom for a very long time. However, you wouldn't know it from looking at the two people. They are almost identical. But when we come back, folks, we shall consider our options, because bits of Ireland have been taken away by de jure claims for inheritance. And yet we have the opportunity to claim Norfolk, and we have the Isle of Man. So, there's someone who's not going to be happy. You, mainly. So I'll catch you later. See you then. Later.